Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video. I forgot where we were. I, I didn't know what was happening. So, um, good news. Today is the day that Preview of a Dangerous Mind comes out. It's out now on my Etsy shop. There are going to be 31 copies of this. Signed and numbered. So I would just, I wanted to tell you a little bit about what's in here. So um, it's, again, Preview of Dangerous Mind. It is a preview of the actual paperback book that's coming out sometime next year that is a ton of short stories. And for those of you who have picked up my other short story chapbooks like Panic or Anxious Anxiety, those stories will not be in this. Like, this is, like, um, more recent short story stuff. Like, over the last, like, three years, basically. So there's that. But these are the stories that are in here. A couple of these, like, I had on my website at one time. Okay, let's, let's figure this out. So the bridge over the L.A. River, I really love that story. It's about these two dudes who live in different communities and at night they meet at the middle of this bridge that goes over the LA River and for those of you who don't know the LA River is like just a concrete thing with no water in it but like they meet every night um, on in the middle of this bridge because one community has outlawed certain things and this community has outlawed certain things so they meet in the middle of this bridge to give the other one the things that have been banned in their communities. And then, it, like, shit gets fucking crazy. It's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. Um, and then Eyeball, which is probably another one of my favorites. It's, um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you, but it's about um, a mass murder in North Hollywood. I guess that's the best way to put it. Um, Tony's Phobia, it's about this guy who thinks the worst every time he leaves the house. And so every time he comes home, he envisions like the most horrific event that you could possibly imagine that has taken place inside his like place since he's been gone. Um, so that's what that's about. And then this one is like seriously probably this is like the most recent story but the only good ribosome it is so ridiculous and so fun it's just it's batshit crazy it's basically about um these like two down on their luck um dudes one of them might even be homeless it doesn't really specify. One of them comes up with this idea on basically how to live forever is the best way to put it. And they talk about this thing and one guy has to convince the other dude. And then they start thinking that they're going to fucking be rich and all this shit. And um, as things like this happen, as soon as someone says, oh yeah, we're going to be rich, jealousy between the two people ensue. Um, but also, they're fucking batshit crazy to have the idea in the first place, so then other shit happens. Um, but that's, like, that's seriously, like, one of my favorite um, stories I've written in a fucking long-ass time. And then we have Northeast of 247, which I think I published in an issue of Weird Mask. Not 100% on this. But it's about a guy who keeps trying to kill himself who is met with a UFO. And then the last two things in here, these are more about a writer, the madness of writing, I guess is the best way to put it. So the sliding scale, which I think I published somewhere, I can't remember where that would have been, but it's a, um, like a sort of fictionalized account of a true story with me, um, where, um, a psychiatrist pumps the character full of so many drugs to try to make them a better person that um, they've lost the ability to write. 
That's kind of what that's about. And then the last thing in here is an essay I wrote in December of 2019 about what I have learned about writing and publishing in the last decade. And if that's not going to fucking make you go crazy and make you have a dangerous fucking mind, I don't know what the fuck will. So anyway, it's it's a fun little book. Um, I can't wait for the actual book book to come out. I'm still formatting that and putting it together, but I think it'll be like January, maybe February when that comes out. So we'll see how that goes. But um, anyway, um, run over to my Etsy shop. Links will be down below. Type hard, everybody. Keep buying my books and get that one. And then, by the way, just so you know, too, if you have been interested in getting into the Poetic Anarchy course, if you want to um, get locked in to the lower price of doing so, you have to do it before November. Um, once November hits, like, we're out of beta testing. We're going to go to, like, full price for this. So... As the days go by here, I'm going to be sharing like testimonials with you from people who've been doing it. Um, I'll probably be sharing some work of the people who've been going through the course. You know, like it's going to be really fucking cool. And if you want to get in it and get daily writing prompts, get three lessons a week, get um, the live stream, a members only live stream where we go over everyone's stuff for that week and talk about certain things and questions. Um, you got to jump in on this. So um, hit the join button down below, click Anarchy Crew, and then you could lock yourself in to that lower rate. And um, fuck, and get published, man. Shit. So anyway, um, that's that. Uh, again, keep buying my books, keep typing hard, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.